Just like with variables, you can also pass objects to a method, including arrays. When a single element of an array is passed to a method, it's handled like any other variable. However, you can pass entire arrays to a method as well. And let's take a look at an example of both. So let's create an array of strings colors, blue, purple, yellow, green, red, and orange. And let's say that I wanted to pass one of these strings inside this array of colors to a method called public static void print color which takes a single string as a parameter. And what it's going to do is simply print out whatever I pass to the method, color. And to call that method, I could take any element of this colors array and pass it to this print color method. Print color, let's say colors at index 2, which is going to be blue is 0, purple is 1, yellow is 2. So this should print out yellow on the screen. Print colors should be capital. There's yellow. So as you can see, you can treat any single element of an array as a string and you could pass it to any method that accepts a string. But what if you wanted to pass the entire array of colors to this method and print all the colors out? that's going to be a little bit different. So let's add another method. Public static void print color that takes an array of strings rather than a single string. And notice that I can have two methods with the same name in the same class because the parameters are different. This is called method overloading. Now let's loop through and print out every color in this array for int i is 0, starting at 0, while i is less than the size of the array that we're passing to this method, which is colors.length, i++. And we simply say system.out.println colors at index i. And now to call this method instead, I simply, instead of saying print color, and pass in a single element of the array, I say print color and pass in the entire array. And notice that when you pass in just the word colors, that is the entire array. It doesn't have any square brackets after it. However, if you passed in colors with square brackets and an index, that is just one element of the entire array. So to pass the full array, you do it this way, or you just specify the name of the array without any square brackets. And now if I run this program, it passes the entire array to this method, print color. So colors is the argument. The parameter name is also colors. This could have been something different, but I just named it colors for consistency. And it grabbed it here, looped through it, and printed out all the elements. So that is how you pass arrays to a method.